The present is the key to the past. And that is why Richard, Dina and myself decided to undertake a beach coring exercise at Maruga. As geoscientists, we use observations from modern environments such as rivers, oceans and beaches to understand how sand grains organize themselves into various bed forms. We then apply that information to sedimentary structures that we see in, ancient, in the ancient rock record. Our primary objective is to create a learning tool or learning environment by which we can educate or, or facilitate discussions among undergraduates, professional geoscientists and researchers alike. Why did we choose Maruga? Uh, Maruga is a quiet fishing village on the southern coastline of Trinidad. It is one of two large towns where relatively large rivers extrude much of its sediment load into the, the ocean, forming a relatively large wave cut platform or, or delta, as, as we say. The delta is comprised of various bed forms made up of sand and clay grains. The shape, form, orientation of, of these bed forms are determined by the processes that are very active. These processes include the river itself, the Maruga River, the beaches, the swash and backwash processes, and the tides, the daily changes in the tidal regime that can be observed while standing at the coastline. These processes can be seen to interact to varying extents along the delta, and it is our objective to discern the relative strengths and weaknesses of each of them and the impact they have on creating or, or modifying the bed forms we can observe. For this, we found Maruga to be the ideal locality. How did we acquire the cores? Well, my colleague Richard is the better person to explain that. After much research, uh, we've come up with a, a relative inexpensive way of coring these unconsolidated sediments. Um, and what is surprising that we have managed to even get cores almost two meters long um, just using some basic equipment. Um, that's PVC pipe, um, sledgehammer to drive the core into the ground, creating a suction and then we wrench the core out of the ground. Um, we take this back to, to, to our home lab and this is cut and described. Um, and it's really, really um, cheap compared to what we've what we've our research on, on, on equipment we've used um, previously um, and we would like to, to also get a get a understanding of this 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 methodology so we could share it um, to, to other geologists and sedimentologists who might be interested in, in finding ways to, to call unconsolidated shallow sediments
After acquiring the cores from Marugo, we keep them stored upright until we're ready to cut them. We use an electric saw to cut the PVC and then we use a fish wire to separate the cores into halves. From then we can actually do descriptions and then preserve the cores by wrapping them in cellophane wrap. What lies in the future? Our immediate objective is to continue to describe the cause and to share the knowledge with others in the short term. We have not discussed much beyond that. Maybe the Erin Delta, where we have led students on modern sand field trips, may be a target for future coring. But certainly in the short term, engagement is our number one priority where we hope to encourage others to join us in the coring exercise and learn from the experience or learn how sedimentary grains organize themselves across the Maruga Delta. <laughs>